Staying with security matters, traders closed shops at Computer Village in Lagos today in solidarity with their fellow traders who were felled by a police officer's bullet at the Yanokwaja area of the state. Senior correspondent Ivy Kano reports. It's day three after the shooting at a birthday party that claimed the lives of two businessmen. The call for justice for the two that were allegedly shot dead by a police officer is beginning to gather momentum as thousands today gathered at Computer Village to protest their death. Angry traders carried placards early at the Computer Village, Ikeja. Amongst them are representatives of Chikere Obiechi family and associates. Debbie is a businessman. He pays his tax. He's, he is not a legal, illegal businessman. And we are not happy that he was murdered just like that. There is a revelation by the police. I say, fully police officer, you are not supposed to be drunk and handle rifle. We are crying. This is the light of my family. The man that was celebrating the birthday called my brother more than three times, insisting that my brother should attend his birthday occasion, his birthday party, to honor him. From there, a journalist visited the home of one of the deceased, Chikere Obi Echi, where a condolence register has been opened. Overtaken by grief, his young wife, Ife Yungwa Obi Echi, says it appears her husband was assassinated. From the video that I saw, he was very anxious. The Asiwaju was anxious. He felt something was going to happen. My husband was praying him money, and he was just standing uprightly, not moving, not dancing. Immediately, the gunshot was aimed. He flew over the fence, took his car, and left. So I believe this was a clear assassin case. She says she fears the celebrant might go scot-free, given his relationship with the police. I know Asiwaju works with the police, and I know he has connections. And I know they are trying their best to cover some kind of things up. Meanwhile, police in a statement state that investigation so far revealed that the shooting was accidental and involved an off-duty police officer, Inspector Mohammed Husseini, serving at the state headquarters, Ikeja, Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos.